Hi, and welcome to Violet Vestments. That sounds weird. Anyway, I'm still trying to figure out an intro, so yeah, if you have any ideas, leave them in the comments. That would be helpful, whoever you are, random individuals on the internet. I could probably just refer to you as the internet, but I'm not going to, because I don't roll like that. You are people, not digital robots. Though digital robots are cool. Um, you're, you're not. I mean, unless you are, in which case, more power to you. Be a digital robot. Do your digital robot thing. Fail those CAPTCHA codes. <laughs> Fail them miserably. So, this being my first actual vlog, and I'm, I'm in costume and everything, um, I thought, why not introduce myself? And granted, if, if you watched episode zero, you know who I am already. I'm Rowan. I have books, um, etc. All that horribleness that was that thing. Um, anyway, so I decided, why not start out with my name? Because I think names are cool. I don't know about you, but I think names are pretty darn awesome. So I have four names. I have Robert Owen, my last name, which it is unsafe to, and then a combination of my first two, which I have been using since I was born, or which my mother has been using, anyway, which has been used in my context since I was born, which is Rowan, my merge of Robert and Owen. So and I'm just going to go through them. So Robert is a masculine name of Germanic descent. Um, it originally comes from Hrodebelt, which is really cool sounding. At least I think so. Um, I saw another one that was like Hreodbelt. Um, they're all really cool, and I'm probably butchering it, and I feel so bad about that. The derivatives are Hrod, which means fame, and Berat, which is bright. And again, I'm sorry, Germanic-speaking peoples, I probably butchered that to heck and gone. But yeah, so bright fame, fame bright. Um, I saw another translation that um, kind of elaborated it so that it was a bright and shining one. Um, but yeah, it's it's cool. Um, you know, so there's there's a Robert, there's Hreldbert, there's uh, what are some others? Um, Rob, just R A B. Not like R-O-B, but Rab, I guess. Um, Robert, which is French. Um, yeah, it's cool stuff. And yeah, it's a fun name to say. Um, not as fun as the rest of my names meaning-wise, though. I mean, it's, it's pretty classic. You know, bright and shining one. You know, it's right up there. But... Moving on, so my middle name is Owen. For Owen, we're gonna go to Owain, which is where it comes from. Owain is Welsh, and uh, apparently it's in the same line as the old Irish Eilgen, which is also cool sounding. Um, I like my name, if you can't tell. Um, so, yeah, um, so there's Eilgen, which means born of the U. So there's that. Um, it's also been considered possibly to be derived from Eugene, which I don't get, which means nobly born. So there's that. Or maybe, but probably not, Esugenos, which is engendered of Essos. Forget who Essos is, and I don't feel like looking him up. So that's all you get. My last name. Uh, has a variety of translations, but it's a German name, again, that uh, means basically um, a bunch of things having to do with trees. I am either a tax collector in the Rhineland, you know, in that area, or I live by a tree. Th those are my main things. So I have a lot of trees in my name, um, you know, so I'm, that's, that's the joke, is that I'm the tree by the tree. You know, I was born of the U. I am of... Oh, yeah. I didn't even go into that. More on that later. Anyway, my last name is Rowan. 
or not my last name, but my my nickname thingy is Rowan, you know, and that's really the name I identify most with, mainly just because that's what I've been called most of my life. Nobody actually calls me Robert or Owen, unless they don't know me, like, you know, school teachers or whatever. But, um, so Rowan is a tree, obviously. Um, it's spelled differently in my case. Usually, usually they spell it R-O-W-A-N. In my case, it's spelled R-O-W-E-N because of the mush of the two names. But so Rowan, as in the Rowan tree, is, uh, I couldn't actually find any information on the meaning of the name, but the tree itself is pretty cool. Um, the main thing I got out of my research, which was scant and silly, is that uh, the Rowan tree is also called the Dogberry tree, or Quick Beam, which are both cool, because I get to be Dogberry. <laughs> and for all y'all Shakespeare nerds out there, you know who Dogberry is. If you don't know who Dogberry is, go and read Much Ado About Nothing or watch it, preferably watch it. Um, the, I don't think it's the Royal Shakespeare Company, but um, I think it's called the Digital Theater. Um, sells a really good production with um, David Tennant and... I think it's Catherine Tate. You should totally check it out. It's about um, a town in Italy, I believe. Uh, yeah, or it's supposed to be Italy. But on um, this property in Italy that all these soldiers come home to, and there are lots of shenanigans, um, the upshot of which being that Dogberry is, a, is basically the head of police, and he is kind of terrible at his job. Joss Whedon also did a version that I haven't seen yet. Um, but yeah, so Dogberry is terrible at his job, and he is played by Nathan Fillion in the Joss Whedon version, not the David Tennant version. There are two different versions. Um, and he's hilarious. Uh, and just, yeah. So he's one of my favorite characters, and so the fact that I was accidentally named after him um, is pretty awesome. I, I read somewhere that it has also been called Thor's Helper, the, the Rowan tree. Uh, I have no idea why. I can't remember where I read that. But, um, yeah, so there's that. Um, it's fun stuff. Anyway, so where did your name come from? What is the origin of your name? Comments. I'm curious. I like names. Names are cool. See you next time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>